Hey, what's up guys? SoCal Hipster today from Ariana and Evans. For the uh, brush, it is the, I think it's the 24, 1924 from QED Select. Badger brush. Uh, a little beauty here. Um, this is a, I think it's a 130 year old razor, 120, 130 year old razor. Um, and we'll, we'll talk a little bit about this really quick. Um, well, during the shave at least. Uh, and for the aftershave, it's gonna be a matching splash. So let's get to it. Soap. Gonna load her up. Hope everyone is doing very, very well. It is, um, it's a razor that what I've done some, some reconnaissance on. <laughs> Well, I've just look, looked up a little bit. Um, there's so much patina on this thing, but like it's so cool because it being that old, like you know, man, something something this old. It, oh, these are um, these are ivory scales as well. So an elephant, you know, had to perish for this, which I guess was like a big thing back then. I know ivory was pretty big. Tortoise was also pretty big back then. But um, anyway, yeah, so. Uh, the best I could tell, that company started in 1873, uh, but they didn't start making razors in 1873. They made like, they said walking sticks and all kind of other stuff. Um, so, what I found on the razors were they started making those sometime in the late 1890s, all the way until the uh, the early 19, I think it was like 1910-ish. So... Um, yeah, bare minimum, it's it's like a hundred and whatever, hundred and five years old or whatever it will come out to be. So, really, really cool. What's neat about this shave is, uh, oh, I didn't mention the backup. We we do have a backup, so the backup for this is going to be the the gym featherweight with a with a Persona gym blue blade in it, whatever they're called. Um, so the the edge actually, uh, <laughs> the edge on this, I, I haven't touched it. Um, so the guy I bought it from, I sent a message. He said he hadn't touched it. The, the edge that's on this probably is the same edge that it's had, I don't know, since whoever shaved the last, probably before cars were even, um, in the U S but see, you can see the homeware on this thing looks like specifically on the spine. It looks like a thousand grit stone to me. Like if I were to take a, a new razor with no hone wear and hone it on a thousand grit stone, like that's the markings that look on this and on the edge. More so here uh, on the actual spine, but the edge itself has has those same lines. So I don't, you know, it's like, man, I hope no one shaved with this. But when you think back then, you know, a hundred years ago, they, we, they didn't have the synthetic stones we had. They didn't know about j nats or codicles or you know any of that stuff so they just had a barber hone or whatever they can get their hands on a rock that was probably passed down from generation to generation to get you know their razors sharp so they could freaking shave and uh anyway so i it's pretty damn cool i've sterilized it <laughs> i've wiped that thing i um it's safe to say it's very sterilized. There can't be anything. There can't be anything at all living on that freaking razor right now because I did so much to it. I, I you know, because I wanted to use the edge, but I don't want any of the old gunk. And that thing was kind of. It was kind of nat. It wasn't nasty. It was just like old stuff, you know. And you know, I, I got a, a lot of that off with. Um, Alcohol swab and that type of thing. And uh, some barber, barber, whatever the barber cleaning thing is. The blue stuff. So, hopefully, hopefully we're good and don't have any uh, problems. In my, in my opinion, I don't think the edge is going to do very well. Oh, this is an awesome scent, by the way. Wow. From Ariana and Evans, St. Bart's, and SoCal Hipster, my top two. Uh, I do like Asian pear. Asian plum is not for me. Asian, I have the soap. It's just not for me. It's too, it's, it's like a bitter, um, it's just not for me. Asian plum, I love. 
I'm sorry, Asian pear, I love. Asian plum, not for me. So, I'm curious to try this edge, but I'm also kind of scared. I'm, I'm anticipating it's not gonna, uh, it's not gonna be a comfortable edge that I'm used to. And if that's the case, I'm just not gonna use it. But, but I do wanna kind of go at least one pass with the grain, just to see. Um, also something that's really cool, I don't know if you guys will be able to tell in the, you know, I don't know what the camera's picking up my face or whatever, but it has a belly in it. So from the spine, from the edge of the spine to back here, there's about a quarter inch dip from the top here and the top here to the, to the middle here. There's about a quarter inch dip. I mean, it's, it's significant. And, um, and, and because of that, also there's a belly in the actual middle of the blade right here. Um, so when I put my calipers on it, this is what's really cool because you gotta remember when this freaking thing was made, there were no calipers. What's really cool is you can measure the, the tip of the spine, you can measure the middle of the spine and the back of the spine, and then, you know, get your, get your width measurement there on each location as well. It is only half a degree off on the entire thing. It's incredible. It's incredible what they, like, anyway, <laughs> let's see. Mm. Yeah, it's tugging. It's tugging quite a bit. Ah. Uh. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to use it. <laughs> oh, I mean, it's cutting hair. Um, but it's it's not. Uh, uh. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to do anything with that. All right, well, I'm going to have to hone it. Which, I, you know, even if the edge... Even if the edge were actually really good I, I would still go back and hone it I like to use my edges anyway all right gym featherweight that's exact this is exactly why it's in here because I anticipated that I mean you could look at that edge with the uh, with my loop here and uh, you could see that it's it's not shave ready. So, anyway. Still very cool, very cool piece of history. I'll get it honed up, it'll be a beauty. And we'll go from there. I just don't think the guy that sold it knew what he had. Um, you know, he, he just has no clue. I think it was like from an estate sale or something and, and maybe, I don't know, whatever. But, um, and also like, I don't know, it, if I were given, you know, like an old thing that I have no use for and means nothing to me and um i don't know like I, I don't i would never use it i could see selling you know selling whatever that is too and it being someone else's you know new heirloom or whatever that it could be passed down from generation to generation so it's pretty cool in that regard but just you know the stories that this razor could probably tell or i mean what back in the 1800s 1880, 1890. Mm. Can only imagine what this thing could tell us. Really cool. I'd love to know what kind of steel it was too. This it's very very hard steel. I know that because I have uh, my little shobu. It's like you know six inches long, and then it's like that two two and a half thick or wide 
and um, I'll just take razors and like ping them on the actual shobu. And this, this is a very, like, for instance, my Jerry Stark razor is not as hard as this, and I don't think the Corat is as hard as this either. This is extremely hard steel. I don't know if they just had different, you know, processes back then. Well, obviously they had different processes back then, but. But it's a, uh, it's a, I don't know if I said it or not. Hovden, H-O-V, Hovenden, Hovenden's Shilling Hollow Ground Razor. H-O-V-E-N-D-E-N, Hovenden's. And uh, like I said, they, I looked them up. They, um, obviously they're not in business anymore, but they made walking canes. They made all kind of, all kind of stuff. Really neat, really cool. Yeah, I needed to get a shave done, and I was like, you know what? The thought was to actually hone that yesterday, Friday, and um, I was gonna hone it, you know, and, and use it in today's shave, you know, and I was like, you know what? How cool would it be to sh to try to shave with that edge? Well, you know, it didn't work out, but I wouldn't imagine anybody that's that's newer, um, even if they're new to straight razors, would have sent this out and had it redone by somebody else as far as like an edge put on it. And had it returned in the condition it was in. So I think, in all honesty, I think how I, how I received it is exactly how it's been for the past however long. And I think that edge that was, or that is on there, is the edge that was put on there by whoever shaved with it last. Probably, I mean, realistically, probably, I don't know, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 years ago. Um, you know, which, again, there's just such, for me, you know, you guys might be looking or, you know, watching this on the other end and listening to it and saying, this guy's nuts. But for me, it's it, there's like a cool factor there, you know? Having something this old and using it. And just thinking about, like, dude probably got up, shaved, smoked a pipe. <laughs> you know what I mean? Went and uh, fed the, the horse or whatever. I don't know. To me, it's just, that's, just, that's just some... Really, really cool stuff. All right, let's finish the shave up. I'm sure you guys are pretty annoyed. Well, I doubt if you're still here, you're annoyed because you would have left already. But I hope everyone's Saturday goes very well. And uh, I have quite a bit to do, but nothing major. This uh, this gym razor is actually doing extremely well. I think this is the third use on this blade, maybe the fourth. Pretty sure it's the third. And uh, no issue. So this razor's gonna need a lot of TLC because of that belly. I'm gonna have to figure out if I want to use tape or not. More than likely, I will. But then again, I, you know why? Because there's already homeware and a good bit of it. You know, from 
whoever honed it last. So, you know, I'm not using tape specifically for <clears throat> the reduction of, of, you know, homeware of how it looks because there's already homeware there. But then again, I also don't need tape because of the bevel angle because it's already pretty, pretty good where it's at. I think it's like 18, you know, 18 and it goes to 18 and a half in the middle and back to 18 on the other end. So I don't know. I don't really need to use tape. Um, but a little bit of irritation on my cheeks, like here. Yeah, I do. Ooh. Wonder if I wonder if that's from the uh, the straight. Cause it's like literally like right in this area on both sides. Hmm. I don't know. It was pulling pretty good, but it's not the worst I've ever used. But uh, anyway, yeah. I'm gonna have to figure out uh, figure out what I'm doing with it. Um, definitely want to keep it. I was like, maybe I could buy it, flip it. Cause like I said, the guy that sold it didn't really know what he had in my opinion um and I actually paid I actually paid more than buying price um because I knew then I still got a, a tremendous deal anyway Oh, by the way, I don't know if I mentioned or not. That was Thayer's. Sorry if I didn't. Thayer's Cucumber. Um, Alright, so let's go ahead and put on our splash and get this shave over with. Do I have weepers? Um, eh. Just like very minimal. Minimal stuff. Nothing big. Great fights on this weekend. Again, I don't know how many UFC fans I have watching this, but uh, great, great fights on this weekend. They're in London, actually. And um, there's Patty the Batty Pimblet. That's, so his name is Patty Pimblet, but uh, he goes by the Batty. Because it rhymes with Patty, you know, Patty the Batty Pimblet. Dude looks like uh, Shaggy from Scooby Doo. He does. He has like the dirty blonde shaggy hair, kind of mullet, mullet like, like Shaggy from Scooby Doo. And um, <clears throat> anyway, he, he's he's on the main card, and uh, there's a lot of hype around him right now. And uh, I think he's a pretty cool guy. Never met him, but you know, you just see people's personas and that type of thing. <clears throat> so yeah, very very nice shave though. I mean. Other than like a little bit of razor burn or irritation or whatever you want to call it, like in this area, I guess I, you know, I guess it was due to the to this edge. I don't know. But anyway, this is the next project. Oh, uh, project. By the way, this <clears throat> I'm thinking it's older. Like it's on the older side of the of the uh, of the razors they made. Because towards the end, they started putting jumps, like those little cutaways in the actual uh, bottom of the razor. I'm not sure about the top, but on the bottom they did. This this one has no jumps. It's completely smooth on top and bottom. And they they started doing that later in the in the razor making process. So this was towards the 1890 to probably, you know, 19, 1901. Something like that, 1900 to 1901. So just a freaking freaking awesome thing dude and like like I said the ivory scales I, you know I wouldn't agree with it today obviously to do that to an animal just for some freaking scales or whatever else they made made out of this but the fact that, that was 100 plus years ago that they got this and um there's there's some defects in the scales I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up or not right where my finger is right here there's like a little you know like a little defect like a little indenture uh, something I don't know 
Um, I think this is, yeah, this is definitely a lead spacer in here. That's also pretty cool because they would never use lead spacers today. Anyway, yeah, just a, just a really neat razor. So I'm going to, um, I'm going to actually start honing it tonight. I think I'll use tape. I don't know. Do I want to use tape? I don't know. I might use tape. I might, I might not. It's such hard steel that if I use tape, it'll be less, it'll be less swarf that's kicked up as I'm honing it. Mm, I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, that's not your problem. That's mine to figure out. So <laughs> sorry for wasting more time, guys. All right. That was a great shave. I appreciate you guys watching as always. Uh, if you haven't already and you're still watching the video, which you're probably not, give me a thumbs up. Um, uh, if you need to ask me anything or have a comment, you can comment down below. I have some links down below as well. Uh, my email's down there. My Instagram's down there. So you guys can check that out. So other than that, I hope you guys have a good weekend and I'll see you guys during the next shave.